Ave Maria, this is Father Joseph Michael Mary at our mission of Our Lady Gate of Heaven in Munster in uh, Perth, Western Australia. And one of the occasional uh, incidents here in Australia is the bushfires, especially in the summertime. The ground is very dry. We have not had rain for four or five months. And with the dry ground and bush so dry, there's always the danger of a bushfire, which uh, are very hazardous here in Australia because they generally move very fast and can destroy property and also take lives. Well, yesterday, here at Munster, uh, about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a bush fire broke out uh, not far from the friary across the street. And one of the friars had looked out the window and saw this billowing smoke and flames. And sure enough, uh, it was quite a big bush fire that swept through our backyard property quite rapidly. Uh, the fire uh, uh, approached the friary and we recognized the danger uh, that was to our uh, to our friary and also to ourselves and we also uh, were, we evacuated uh, many of the homes here were evacuated uh, by the police and fire departments because they were not sure how big the fire would be and how close it would get to the property and so we left everything into the hands of Our Lady we put an image of Our Lady outside the friary which had recently been blessed by Father Gabriel on his visit here and sprinkled holy water and blessed salt all along the property. We uh, were forced to leave the property and uh, but we stayed within a range where we could see what was happening and about five helicopters worked continuously dropping water and uh, it is surely due to these helicopters that the fire, fire was contained and uh, did not uh, 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 spread to damage homes and that was the priority of the firemen was to save homes. There were about a hundred and sixty firemen working throughout the night uh, even until early hours this morning. Uh, these men are volunteers and they had many of them had to go to their own jobs in the morning so we really have a renewed respect and uh, gratitude for these firemen who worked with such, with such uh, generosity to protect us and the property. But the the fire, as you can see, the what was once a little uh, forest land or bushland, is now desolate and uh, uh, pretty much reduced to ash. Which, in a sense, is very good because there is no danger of fires coming again this year, or for maybe a couple years, uh, because the all the undergrowth was burned, uh, which will uh, will which will contain any future fires that could be caused by. Uh, by such uh, an incident as yesterday. As you can see, the fire actually got very close to the friary. Uh, it actually came as far as the fence line here and uh, you can see all the burn off here, uh, the bush and the uh, the other things that were destroyed by the fire in our friary just in the background. And so the, the fire actually came very close. So we're very grateful this morning uh, to have our friary preserved and give thanks to the Immaculate uh, in, in this incident of this uh, bushfire that came so close to the friary that uh, our friary is still standing today. We want to pray in a special way for the firemen who work so heroically and uh, so tirelessly to contain this fire and to uh, uh, preserve and protect the homes and lives of people here. And uh, we ask you to please pray for your, our mission here in Australia. Uh, we're especially petitioning St. Joseph to please bring rain, uh, much needed rain.
from our mission here in Perth, Western Australia, we send you all greetings and ask you to pray for us here that we may be ever more faithful in loving and serving the Immaculate. Ave Maria. I think my feet are on fire.